Boy, that looks like fun. Look how fast that guy's going. We're going to use speedboats today to work on solving equations with multiplication and division. And we'll speed right through this lesson. Because speedboating looks like an awful lot of fun. Well, it looks like fun unless you hit something. Well, let's use the one of the speedboats that's actually running, not one that's hit a hit a channel marker, to do some problems that involve solving algebraic equations with multiplication and division. Let's say the speedboat traveled 53 miles in 20 minutes. What is the speed in miles per hour? Well, could we use algebra to help us figure this out? I think we could, but probably the first thing we'd want to do is to see you CC the problem so we know what we got to focus in on. And I circled 53, and I circled 20 minutes, and I underlined the question, what is the speed in miles per hour? So now we really only have to look at three things. We've got an S there, which is the speed in miles per hour. We've got 53, which is the miles that were traveled. And we've got 20 minutes, which is the amount of time the speedboat was traveling. It's a lot easier. We've got 20 minutes. We've got S miles per hour. We've got 53 miles, and this is going to be an equation because we're going to solve for something. So we've got an equation sign. Now all we have to do is shuffle those things around so that we create an algebraic expression that makes some sense. And then we can try to solve it. Oh, but wait a minute. Our speed's in miles per hour. And the amount of time we're traveling is in minutes. We can't relate minutes to hours or miles per hour. We have to convert 20 minutes into a measurement of hours. And hopefully you know that 20 minutes is one-third of an hour. 20 over 60 reduces to one-third hour. So now we can say that our speed in miles per hour times one-third hour, or 0.33 hours, equals 53 miles. That's an algebraic expression, and we can probably solve that. Well, we've got an expression now. We know that the speed times 0.33 equals 53. How can we solve that for s? Remember, when we want to solve for a variable, that means we want to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. We want to rewrite the equation so our variable is the only thing on one side of the equation. And everything else has been moved to the other side of the equation. So now the equation will read s equals something. And that something that s equals is the solution to the problem. And hopefully you remember that when we had addition or subtraction, we got rid of something that was on the variable side of the equation by doing the inverse operation, doing the opposite of whatever the operation was. For instance, if it was s plus 6, to get rid of the plus 6, we'd subtract 6. Well, we're trying to get rid of multiplied by 0.33. What's the opposite of multiplied by 0.33? It's divided by 0.33. And if we divide the left side of the equation by 0.33, we need to divide the right side of the equation by 0.33. Now, the two 0.33's on the left are going to cancel each other out and leave just an S. And the S is going to equal 53 divided by 0.33. And you can figure that out. 53 divided by 0.33 is 160.6 miles per hour. Well, let's try another one. Let's say we had X divided by 25 equaled 5. How would we get rid of the divided by 25 so our x was isolated on one side of the equation and the equation read x equals something? Well, 
we'd want to do the opposite of dividing by 25. I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to do the opposite of dividing by 25. And what's the opposite of dividing by 25? Yeah, that's right, multiplying by 25. And if I'm going to multiply the left side of the equation by 25, i got to multiply the right side of the equation by 25 too, or it won't be equal anymore. So now, my two, time, my two 25s cancel each other out and leaves just x on the left side of the equation, and x equals 5 times 25. And 5 times 25 is 125. So the solution is x equals 125. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key. Okay, we've got z times 16 equals 48, and we're trying to solve for z. So the first thing we're going to have to do is get rid of this times 16, so we isolate the z. We're going to get rid of it by doing the inverse operation, or the opposite. And what's the opposite of multiplying by 16? Dividing by 16. And we need to divide both sides of the equation by 16, or it won't be equal anymore. So now, our two 16's are going to cancel out and it's going to leave z equals 48 divided by 16 and that's easy to solve z equals 3 well let's see how are we going to do this we've got a rectangle here and we know a couple of things we know that the area of the rectangle is 32 square inches and we know one of the dimensions of the rectangle is 4 inches and we're trying to find out what the other dimension of the rectangle is. Well, if you know some stuff and you don't know how to solve the problem, probably the first thing to do is to write down what you do know. Now hopefully you know that the, what the formula for the area of a rectangle is. It's the base times the height. Now that we've got that down, we can probably substitute some stuff because we know some stuff. We know that the area equals 32. So we could replace that A with a 32. And we know that the height equals 4. So we could replace that H with a 4. And then it would read 32 equals X times 4. Well now that's a problem that you can probably solve because we've got to get rid of the times 4 so we isolate the x and it says x equals. And to get rid of that times 4 I'm going to do the inverse operation or the opposite of multiplying by 4. I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides of the equation. And when I do that I get x equals 32 divided by 4 because those two fours cancel out and x equals 8. This one's kinda tough so if you don't get it don't be really upset but try think about this real hard and see if you can solve it. Hit the pause button try it and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Well, this is a tough problem, so we definitely want to see you see, see it. And I'm, I've circled the 24, and I've circled the twice, and I've underlined the question, what are the dimensions? Now, this, anytime you get a tough problem and you just don't know how to do it, probably the first thing to do is write down what you know. And also, it might be helpful to write down any equations that you think relate to the problem. Well, this problem is about the perimeter, so maybe we could write the equation for the perimeter down. The perimeter equals the base time plus the base plus the height plus the height. Two times the base plus two times the height. So that's a start. We know what that we know what that perimeter equation is. Now we know something else too. It says the base is twice the height. Well, we could write that this way: one half the base equals the height. One half the base equals the height. Well, if one half the base 
equals the height, I could substitute one half B up here every place I saw an H because one half B equals H. So I just put a one half B there and a one half B there and I get the perimeter equals the base plus the base plus half the base plus half the base. Well, that's three times the base. And I know what the perimeter is. It's 24. So 24 equals 3B. If 24 equals 3B, I can solve for B by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. And when I do that, I get B equals 24 divided by 3, or 8. Now, if I know that the base is 8, I know that half the base equals the height. So half of 8 equals 4, and my height is 4, what is it, feet, 4 feet. That's our lesson on solving equations with multiplication and division. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you also learned how to tackle tough uh, word problems. Make sure you C-U-C-C, and then write down in an equation form anything you know from that word problem and see if you can figure out ways to put it together. Now it's time to test your knowledge and, and your skill by going to www.mastermath.info and downloading the worksheet on solving equations with multiplication and division. And after you've tried that, go back to Master Math and try the quiz on solving equations with multiplication and division. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope we see you again real soon. Bye-bye.